oh shit, how I get over here? What it is, what it do, it's your man, man, Builder Goat, man. I'm back in with another damn video, man. <laughs> yeah, man, another reaction video. What? No, bro, it's not a reaction video. I know y'all like. Damn, where you want a reaction video at? Blah, blah, blah. Like, what, 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 what you doing, bro? Like, why are you not in your office doing reactions? Look, man, chill out. I really wanted to do this little mukbang thing, you dig? I know y'all probably like, bro, I don't want to see that. But look, man, I don't care. It's my channel. You know what I'm saying? The number's going, you know, doing well. And I appreciate everybody, man. I'm almost a 7K, which is crazy. Like a week ago, I was just at 6. Now we at 7. You know what I'm saying? But I know y'all acting like, well, we well, to go to I know you're, you know, I know you're doing reactions or whatever and all this other shit. But like, you're doing a mukbang. bang. What are you eating? Well, I'm glad you asked, you know? Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know you're like, that looks nasty. But it's a dry rub, you know? Mm -hmm. Tastes so good, make you want to slap your mama. You know what I'm saying? But look, for all them people, you know, the new subscribers that don't know me or whatever, man. Um, Hi, I'm Bill the Goat, you know what I'm saying? I, reactions, vlogs, you know, I, I do all of it, man. But, you know, mainly reactions, but, you know, I'm trying to break off of that branch and, you know, do whatever on this channel you know what i'm saying um i love long walks on the beach like to listen to r&b music and i love my girlfriend shout out to my baby tia you know what i'm saying if she watching this shit watch the ads i would greatly appreciate all that man but um you know young nigga hungry man i'm looking at these chicken wings. i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna i'm, I'm I'm looking at these chicken wings, you know what I'm saying? And I really want to get into it. But let me let me um let me do this real quick. Get a a, a, a thummy real quick, you know what I'm saying? Um hopefully that thumbnail was good. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it, man. So uh oh break off a piece of that chicken meat, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't forget the ranch, man. We always do it with the ranch. <laughs> and then they just busted a nut. Anyway, man. Yeah, I break my chicken off, man. I don't be trying to be on some sloppy nigga shit. But what we gonna talk about? What I was thinking, I was thinking about some ideas in the car, man, when I was uh on my way back to the crib after I got done, you know, buying these wings or whatever. I was thinking about how to fight depression. You know, cause recently I haven't been battling it with it no more. I haven't been battling with it like that. But, you know, you, you get your moments sometimes and all this other stuff. And, you, you know, you just have your moments to where you just want to be by yourself for a little bit. Don't, you know, don't answer no calls. Don't, you know, you don't want to kick with nobody. You just want to listen to your music, chill. Just have a, you know, just a, a day to yourself, right? You know, I have a couple moments like that whenever. But it's always good to have friends that understands where you're coming from and also that helps you battle with the sense of depression. You know, I got a couple friends of myself that really helped me out throughout the process of me battling depression. I was battling for it. I was battling with it for like damn near two to three years, right? Damn near the start of 20, it was, it was damn near the start of 2015, man, like the end of 15, Start on 16. God damn, I'm breaking bullshit off. Um, yeah, it was the start of like 2015, or late 2015, early 2016. So, like two, three years ago. You know, I, I just graduated high school probably like in 2014. Mind you, I'm 22 going on 23, man. That, that's why I said 10K before May 20th, which is my birthday. I ain't know what to do with my life. You know what I'm saying? I stopped going to school, college actually. But what would I'm look? If you have a plan to go into college, go to college, man. Don't have nobody stop you. If you have a plan to like being a lawyer, a doctor, anything like that, do you? You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you not to go. I'm not telling you it's a waste of money or anything like that. It's your choice. You are your own person. I will never tell you what not to do or what to do in situations such as going to school or whatever. It's your opinion. But, yeah, man, like I said, I dropped out of school. 
just like steady went to work worked full time I was part time at the job that I was at that time and I don't know man I, I just really wasn't feeling anything man I just like I couldn't do anything like I, I didn't I didn't want to sit there at work. I didn't want to go to school. I, I I didn't know what to do with my life at that time, at that moment. You know what I'm saying? It's been numerous battles of what am I going to do? What am I trying to do? How am I going to be able to get to that? All right. Um. So we're going to fast forward to like 2016, mid 2016. You know, your boy, you know, had personal issues going on. Then I'm not gonna speak on camera or whatever, but um, it, it was terrible, man. I, I I damn near I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I damn near had suicidal thoughts, wanted to kill myself. I it, it was a lot of shit. I know this is probably like a depressing video, but like if this could help the next person that was battling the depression or is battling depression now, you know what I'm saying that that will be like the main goal for this video. I'm not trying to make it sad. I'm not trying to make y'all feel bad for me or whatever. It's just problems that need to be talked about that's still steady going on that's continuing in people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, man, from relationships to work to school to, you know, to paying bills to doing this shit, to doing that shit, it, it was so draining. Energy-wise, I didn't have any freaking energy to do anything. Like, I didn't want to kick it with nobody. I didn't want to make videos. I started I started with this YouTube stuff probably like in 2017. Like, 20, like late 2017. Because, like, I really wanted to, this shit to, like, really go through. Really process. And all I want to do, really, because of this YouTube shit, I want to be my own boss. I know it's somebody up above that's, you know, that has to pay me, but, like, you're waking up on a consistent basis making videos doing something that you actually love to do entertain people which what i love to do completely you know i don't i don't try to uh force myself to do this video or force myself to do that video like I, i'm like i'm sad and you know at the beginning um making videos but you know you probably see like a smile on my face it's it's not like that i really do enjoy making videos such as this reactions all of that man and i greatly appreciate everybody that supported me from from this shit you know what i'm saying um yeah like i said man from relationships to work to all that other stuff it was terrible bro i couldn't do shit with my life i didn't know what i wanted to do so i was working at a factory you know what i'm saying i'm fast forwarding through all of this shit because like how did i beat this I'm gonna just go ahead, you know, cut it short or whatever. Hold on, real quick, you know. Mm, mm, get, get, this is the only chicken wing I hate. Also, let me know in the comment section below, man. Which y'all want? Uh, which y'all like or prefer? Flats or drums? With me, I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. I know people have been like making this like a debate or whatever, but I really don't care. Chicken is chicken, you know what I'm saying? But okay, how I really started this YouTube shit. I started seeing like a lot of black YouTubers like making bands, you know what I'm saying? Like going crazy, cashing their moms out, all that shit, bro. And that's what really inspired me, right? So I was working at this factory. It was like, it's 30 minutes out. I was making like 15, 16 something. I was in a freezer, in a deep freezer and shit. You know, I gotta put on all this equipment and all this shit. You be sweating your ass off. You, you, you know, your back hurt, your, 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 your legs hurt. Mentally, you're drained. Physically, you're drained. It's all of that shit. I, I hated that job, you know what I'm saying? So it was mandatory overtime. It, it was so much shit, like I didn't, I worked 13 hours and then have to be back up. I worked from 7.30 to 9.30. 10, 10, I didn't get home till like 10, like 10.30, 10 o'clock. And I was like pissed. 
I didn't want to do nothing. So then that's when I bought the camera, right? It had one check, you know, I made one check, see like six, seven hundred dollars. Running on Black Friday was cracking. I told myself, when I get this camera, I'm gonna go crazy, right? Went to Best Buy, got the Canon T6i. That's what I actually um, record on right now. Well, with reactions and stuff. I was vlogging on there. That damn DSLR heavy as a bitch, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. That shit. And then, like, you trying to be incognito in the malls and shit. It's over, fam. So that's when I bought this bad boy right here. You know what I'm saying? Portable. My Canon G7X, one of the best vlogging cameras in the game right now. As a YouTuber, if you need a camera like this, I say go for like a, a Canon. Like it's it's cheaper than Sony's. You know what I'm saying? Like it gets the job done. If you want something to get the job done, go ahead. But if you want something that gets the job done and do quality, I say get like a Sony 6300. You know what I'm saying? Base model. You know. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I had like, you know, $700 to my name. I'm like, I should save this money. But at the same time, when am I going to get this opportunity again to buy a camera like this? You know what I'm saying? So, with the Best Buy with my guys and shit, you know what I'm saying? Went there, bought the camera. It was a bundle deal. Had the lens. I think it had a lens, an SD card, uh, the roll mic. Which I still use now. I use all of that. I use all of that now. Still do. My roll mic down there broke off, but I'm, I'm still using it. You know what I'm saying? Chop it out the bando. Um, bought the camera. Was happy as hell. Set it all up. Did everything, man. And then I just lost motivation. Because I was working at that job. Like I said, I was mentally drained. I was physically drained. I, I didn't, I didn't know what to do with my life. I'm like, this job. Can you focus on my face. I can't touch the screen, but I know y'all can see me though. Hold on, let me. There we go. Um, so I just lost sense of motivation. Like I didn't want to do shit, cause like I said, I was like, damn, what the fuck do I want to do with my life? I really want to do this YouTube shit because I really want to make the money and give my mom what she wants. You know, my parents pay her bills, or at least, yeah, pay her bills, and then she, you know, do what whatever she want to do with her check type shit. But the numbers was going too slow. Like, it was going too slow. Like, people didn't want to support. People from my city, my state, didn't want to support me. Some niggas didn't want to collab. It was crazy, man. So that's when I lost the like. I just lost my mojo. I was like, dog, I can't do this shit no more. I don't even want to do YouTube. So I damn near said, fuck it, I'm gonna quit. Like I said, I'm still battling depression to that day. But people were telling me like, nah, bro, you actually doing good for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just to be starting off, it's crazy. Continue doing what you do. Main person that said that shit, man. Let me go, Jante. Shout to Jante. You know what I'm saying? For really pushing me, man. And he also did tell me to buy this camera as well. Travel to, where, you know, where you need to travel in order to go get this camera, and he did, bro. So look, I, I definitely gotta give you know a big ass shout out to Jante, man. Tater Don. If you guys don't know Tater Don, man, one of the best engineers in Milwaukee, man. Producers, singers. And it could do it all, man. If it if it gives with anything, if it does with anything or consists of anything with music, man, he got the shit. You know what I'm saying? Look him up, bro. Or I'll put his link in the description or I'll put it somewhere at the end of this video. So, um, yeah, man, that's what pushed me to do what I had to do and continue this right here. Like I said, man, this is my first mukbang. This is crazy. I never thought I'd be, you know, somewhere like near 7k and i know i'm gonna look back at this video and be like bro you was just at 7k now look where you at a couple months later you know what i'm saying you at a hundred thousand type shit and that's what man that's the main goal of course by the end of the year oh shit excuse me this chicken going crazy that's the thing by the end of the year 100k that's the goal or whatever but 
to continue on with the uh, with the factory shit. So I quit the factory, <laughs> quit the factory, went to temp services, was doing a couple jobs with there, didn't like it. It was crazy. I didn't care for anything that I wanted to work for. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I said to myself, like, bro, I need to get this YouTube shit popping so I don't have to keep going from job to job to job. So then what what my dumb ass do? Quit the temp services, went to another factory. Third shift, 12 hours, three days, which wasn't bad. In my head it wasn't, but man, the work that I had to do. That shit wasn't worth my mental health, my physical health. Nigga, my back was hurting, nigga. Went back out to Economy Walk, which was crazy. And like I said, man, it, it was for the money, man. I was chasing the money. I was broke, man. Had to pay some stuff off, and it was crazy. So I worked there for like, probably like a month or two. Probably not even that, probably like two weeks, low key. No, it was like a month or two. My boy Marcel was there with me, shout out Marcel. And I, I just told myself I couldn't do this shit either. So now, we gonna fast forward. And I got a good job, bro. To to where like to compare every job that I have. I got a good ass job. And I thank God every day for you know letting me wake up and seeing this job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, blessing me with this easy ass job. Sorry, blessing me with this easy job. And, you know, just having some money in my pocket, man, until, you know, this YouTube stuff really start popping off. Like I said, we almost took us to 7K, which is crazy. Like, really crazy. And, like I said, I appreciate everybody that's been watching me since day one. That's watching the vlog, that's watching the reactions, that's watching the mukbang. Any video that y'all watching, man, I really do appreciate it. Um, I know this story was everywhere, but I mean, <laughs> I'm everywhere, man. I'm complicated and I'm crazy. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But like I said, it's positive vibes now. Am I still battling with depression? I am not. I haven't thought about killing myself in in like almost a year. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I have a beautiful support system, such as like my mom, like just my parents, period. You know what I'm saying? Like people that really do understand where I'm coming from and wh what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my girlfriend, Tia. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you're watching this video to the end and you know, like, you know, <laughs> not just skipping through this shit. Um, shout out to my mom, shout out to my dad, my brother, my cousins, Jahani, Nassim, and all of them, man. People that have really supported me with this YouTube channel, man. We really trying to go crazy with this shit. Trying to get out the city, man. Because this city right here that I'm in right now is disrespectful. People don't support you like they're supposed to. People clout chasing. Shout out to all the clout chasers. Shout out to all the haters, man. Like I said, man, I know this story was everywhere and out of control, but like, um, I'm gonna get this shit into order and um, get everything right. So the list that you need or the things that you need in order for you to not suffer from depression anymore, have a good support system, right? Talk to people, you know what I'm saying? They, they are not like, they're not there just to be like, just to be there, just to be like, you know, a waste of space or anything like that. If you really trust them, and if they, if they could give you good advice about what's going on in your life or whatever, you should talk to them. Don't be scared to like just speak up and also talk to your parents. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I talked to my mom, I talked to my dad, you know, with, with all that shit I was going through, man. They completely understand. They check up on me, man, just to see if I'm good or not or whatever. They, they completely understand. Always talk to somebody. Don't ever be afraid to not talk to anybody about what's going on in your life. Because you're going to keep that shit bottled up and you'll never let it out. And then, like, 
you'll be results of or having a results of anger and then like more depression and then like sadness it's, it's a lot of shit that you can you know do to be a better person and battle with depression so always have a good support system always talk to somebody um listen to music like listen to some positive music like it, it music definitely helps everybody well not everybody but anybody you know what i'm saying um try to listen to some real positive music man maybe go to church you know if you don't believe in god it's cool you know what i'm saying i'm not based on no type of religion i'm not judging you or whatever um anything man anything helps you know go outside take a walk just enjoy your life you know what i'm saying enjoy it to the fullest try to like i said but if you also need to talk about what's going on in your life hit me in the dm hit me up on twitter man i'm gonna put my new twitter in the um in my description man. i'm gonna change that old twitter and i'm gonna have y'all you know follow the new twitter because somebody was like man you need to be more active on twitter or whatever you know what i'm saying you know get your people blah 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 i'm like you know what that's a good idea because i did make a second one so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna drop that second twitter man y'all follow me on instagram snapchat all that man let me know if you want to talk talk man slide in my dms if you got something that you want to say say it man if you angry if you sad if you happy if you you know what I'm saying, just go ahead and slide in the boy DM, man. I'm 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 really friendly. I'm not on no fame shit. I don't wanna be that man like, oh, he don't talk to any of his subscribers and all that other shit, man. No man, slide in my DM, slide on my Instagram DM, Snapchat DM, Twitter DM, all that shit, man. I'm really trying to go crazy with this shit and I really want y'all to understand like we got that connection. We here with it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off right here and finish these chicken wings because like I said, I was talking this shit and these damn, these things damn near getting cold. You know what I'm saying? But look, follow me, everything, link in the description below, man. I greatly appreciate it, man. Um, follow my, like I said, follow all my shits. Uh, thank you guys for, damn near, what, what, what we at, like 6.7 right now? Yeah, so we, we continually rising, man. We steady rising and I, like I said, I greatly appreciate everybody, man. Um, I know that, like I said, this story was around everywhere, but it's it's a good story. Hopefully, you guys like these. Hopefully, you guys want more mukbang story times, man. Y'all go ahead and tell me in the comment section below what y'all think about this, man. Like the video, man. Share it with your friends. Do all of that, man. It's Sean Misha, man, man. Beautiful, and I'm out, man. Peace. Gang.